morning. Early morning, right? Wake up, boy. Want to sleep more? Right? Yes. Uh, but when we start the day, so when you wake up, the first things we need to do is a prayer. Before you talk to someone, the Christian talks to God. So before Christian sleep, we talk to God too. So we sometimes forget about the God during the daytime. So it is a right time when no one is disturbing. We kneel down and in front of Him, and we talk to Him, and we speak about the day. That is the good relationship. Okay? So the true Christian is they pray. Why? Because that they having proper relationship. For example, like an angel and Bohi, you're a good friend, right? But when you fight, you speak each other or not speak each other? No speak each other, right? Why? Why is that? Because you don't feel good, isn't it? But when we have a good relationship with God, then we start to This morning, Christian standard. Well, I'm going to present this lesson because everybody must to know that I know also not everybody can keep it. Without the help of Jesus Christ, we cannot keep His commandments. Before we become love Him, we cannot keep His commandments perfectly. But although we must know it about the Jesus oh. Lord, okay? Yes. We are like this. Can we read it together? But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. We know this many times and we heard about this many times. Yes, we are royal priesthood and holy nation and special people. But we must not satisfy up to there. We must know why God made us like this. Why? The Bible clearly says that that you may proclaim the praises of Him who called you out of the darkness into His marvelous light. The reason He made us a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and special people is so that we can proclaim the praises of Him. And we can show the light of Jesus Christ to the world. Do you understand? So, before we proclaim His words, He already set you as a priest. What, who is the priest? Who is standing between God and His people? Do you understand? So, you must accept the reality that who you are. Because God says that you are the priesthood and holy nation. What does it mean? How can a person can be a holy nation? When they see us, they must see the kingdom of heaven. When they see us, they must know the people who live in the kingdom of heaven. When we born again with the baptism, and we really started as a citizenship, so we born from above, then surely we can show others about what is the holy nation. And he is saying that you are special. Why? Because uh, he chose you to proclaim in the darkness about his marvelous light. So remember, Christian is the people who show the light of Jesus. How can we show His light? We have a light in us or we should have the light in us. We should have the light in us so that we will be the light of the world. Okay. Who is called a Christian? A Christian is someone whose behavior and heart reflect Jesus Christ. What is the full meaning of Christian? A Christian is a someone who follows the teaching of Jesus Christ. So, we must follow the teaching of Jesus Christ. And where we can find it? 
What are the Jesus teaching? Okay, can you read it together? Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Forgive others who have wronged you. Love your enemies. Ask God for forgiveness of your sins. Jesus is the Messiah. Repent our sins and away from it. Who is not hypocritical? Who is a hypocritical? The Pharisees was hypocritical. Why they called hypocritical? They had showing, but they don't have a heart. Most dangerous region people die this time. The people who call the Christian because they are hypocritical. They worship if there is a chance to worship. But they don't worship if they don't have a chance to worship. Do you understand what I mean? They just do it because it's a time to do it. But in their heart, there is no Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible clearly testifies that about the Christian. It's, be, it's not because of you attend church that you, are, you become Christian. But true Christian is the people who have Jesus in them. Can you read it? But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If in the, the spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. That's right. The Bible clearly says that how we become Christian is not because we go to the church. So when we have a Christ in us, that is the moment that we belong to him. Even I said I am his, I am his son, daughter, it's not necessary. When he say that you are mine, this is important. So even you thousand of times that I am his own, I am his daughter, it's not necessary. You must ask yourself, if I have a his spirit in me. If you have his spirit in you, then you will be called Christian. But if you just go to church and be a member there, but you will be just a church member, but not Christian. So being a church member is easy, but being a true Christian is not easy. So what do you like to be? Hippocratic church member or the true Christian? The true Christian is the people who has a spirit of Jesus and they are the people who has a true faith. What is the true faith? That's right. We listen his voice and we keep his words and we do as what Jesus said. If you know about this and you keep on reject that, rejecting that truth, then you're never going to be a true Christian. But you will be just a call as a just a member of the church. So God speak this to us. Can you read it? Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. That's right. We have uh, two choices. Either we love the world, and we love God. But if we love the world, and we become love the money. I was a grow up in a Christian home. My father is a pastor, my uncle was a pastor, my cousin, they are pastors. And I also studied of theology. But although I grew up in there, I love the money most. So I didn't be a, become a pastor, but instead I choose the money. While I do the business, I do many lies to get the money. And one day, I found out myself, although I targeted my targeted money was I already accomplished, I still want to have more money and more money. And I found out that money cannot fill me and satisfy me. 
and I feel the emptiness in me. Money is not the matter that makes you happy. What is the matter? When I return to Jesus, and when I feel that peaceful life, and I felt that the true happiness in Him. When I choose the Jesus, it doesn't mean that I didn't go to church before. I also went to the church. But when I choose the Jesus, meaning to say, that moment I decide that I will keep His words. Yes. Money is awesome. Sometimes makes you really comfortable. If you have money, you live bigger house. And nice house. Well, and you can have a nice car. You have a nice jewelry. But the God ordered us very clearly like this. Do not love the world or the things in the world. Because our destination is not the life here. Our destination is in heaven. So if you belong to heaven, why do you need to focus on those things? God is speaking very clearly like this. Can you read it? Now the works of the flesh are evident, <clears throat> which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, leanness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, Jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, decisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and like. Of which I tell you beforehand, just I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. <clears throat> well, you may say that to yourself. How can the people will not be envy? And how can the people not hatred? And outbursts of wrath easily get angry. About the selfish, isn't it? Well, we don't drink. We don't do idolatry. But sometimes we eat the uncleanness food. Then how can we will be free from it? The Bible clearly says that can they inherit the kingdom of God or not? So meaning to say this is a belongs to the world. Because of we are still belongs to the world, that's why this kind of emotion, this kind of feeling, this kind of mind comes in our heart. Yes, we know what is the heart of true Christian. Can you read it? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with his passion and desires. If you live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So when we have baptism, that is the meaning that I give up. I give up all my feeling that as a flesh and I reborn again. So the people who really surrender, instead of those badness in our hearts, the new hearts will be filled, which is love, joy, peace, long suffering. Who is the long suffering? God is long suffering. God is being patient to us and He long suffering. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and we become know how to with the self control when we first die in Jesus Christ. Okay. What is your fruit? Work of the flesh or fruit of the spirit? We should have the fruit of the spirit. Yes. This fighting between flesh and the spirit will not be end until Jesus comes. That's why sometimes even the pastors, even the elders, deacons, or even the missionary, 
even the prophets, they sometimes pull by flesh and they make a mistake. Even Moses, he made a mistake because sometimes they pull by the flesh. Even Elijah become afraid and he ran away from the Israel. Although he had a battle the day before, versus like 850 fake people, priests of the idolaters, and himself alone, and fight and he won. The following day he fall down. So Jesus, Jesus never said that you are perfect. That's why we need a Jesus. But we must choose every moment that which one we are going to choose. Bible never say that anyone is perfect man. Sometimes I say that the people who say that LNG White is perfect, I don't believe it because that is not biblical. LNG White surely she did mistake. I believe because even the Jonah, the true prophet, he made a mistake. Good thing is that God is using us although we are not perfect. So don't don't see someone and try to imitate him or her. Because of God is saying that no one is perfect in the world, but I am the perfect. So we must see only the Jesus. Remember, even Isaiah, even Jeremiah, even Job, even whoever in the Bible, they never show the perfectness by themselves. Even Noah, he was a drunk after Noah's flood. So we see that no one is perfect, but we can still have those fruits of the Spirit when we stay in the Spirit. So if we out from the Spirit, we will lose all the fruits. That is the moment that we must come back to God again. Okay, can you read it? <clears throat> Do not be inequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? That's right. What does it mean? Do not be unequally yoked together. Yoke is the something on the shoulder of you with unbelievers. We say that you must not come with unbeliever especially getting married why i saw my friend he has a good faith he really followed and she found his wife from his office and she was not christian my friend was a good person and she has a good heart and he even gave the type you know type very regularly. Every time he has an income, he takes out 10%. Immediately, I saw he is uh, giving to the God. But he married with unbeliever. And the influences of unbeliever was a very, very strong. Now he's a backslide. He's not doing anything at all. So God is uh, saying that there are many good Christians in the church. Why do you make your yoke together with unbelief? So Angel Bohe, you must listen carefully. Also, also with AC. And you also, we must not get married with unbelief. This is the advice from the God. And this is the same advice and also the older. Do you understand? So friends in the world will make you leave God. So even friends, as much as possible, stay in the church. Yes. So what will happen when you become true Christian? Your friend will leave you one by one. Why? You cannot mingle with them. It's very hard to mingle with them. That's the reason why. We will become so independent the moment we lose all the Okay, can you read it? 
In like manner also, that the woman adorn himself in the modest apparel, with property and moderation, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. Right. <clears throat> yes, during the time of the Pope, you know how the people, especially the women, they decorate themselves. They put many necklaces, earring, gold, like pearl. Because the woman has a character that they want to make themselves more beautiful. Very strong desire. I don't say this is wrong. Because of that desire, everybody has. Even the man has it, isn't it? So men wear what? Good watch. Sometimes they have a gold necklace. I saw my friend who come here. Did you see him? It's a big chain of the gold necklace. It's showing that I am a wealthy person. I have a money. It's showing that to the people. But God says no. Sorry. That's why when you go to Adventist church, you seldom see the people who has an earring and necklace. Why? Because they follow the word of God. The word is a showing that oh, you do this and they will respect you. No. What God is saying that professing godliness. What is a godliness? The holiness with good work. So God is saying that you, when I see you, I don't see the appearance. I see the heart. So even the woman, we should take care about our inside, but not outside. The latest common word, you know what is that common word? In the closet, full of their clothes, and they always complain, what? I don't have a clothes. Isn't it? Yes, it seems like for the side of woman, they don't have a clothes. But in the side of the man, they have a lot of clothes. Well, even myself, sometimes I say, ah, oh, I have too many, too many clothes. There is a time that I gather and give away. But too much, too much. In fact, we are using the clothes, it's a very few clothes we are using. Let's go to the next one. Can you read it? Do not let your adornment be merely outward, <coughs> arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. Yes. When the God is showing good, it's not the appearance. He's a showing and he's seeing, which is inside. Because God is not really appreciated with the appearance, but the beauty of the gentle, quiet spirit, which is a very precious in the sight of the God. So, sometimes I see even my daughter, and very hard, very hard. She says, you know, doing her hairs. Especially second one. <laughs> I tell you. She has a desire to be have a beauty. So I keep on reminding her, Esther, please stop. You have enough beauty. Then now is the time we consider our heart. Because God will not judge the people with their appearance. God will judge them with their heart. So when we don't fill our heart with the good things today, when are you going to put the good things in your heart? <clears throat> Can you read it? Nor thieves, nor convictors, nor drunkards, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. That's why we don't drink. Adventists, we don't drink. Okay? We don't steal. Revealers nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. Their Christian standard is quite high. If you have a Jesus Christ, can you steal someone's thing? <coughs> no. If you have a Jesus Christ in you, can you drink and become a drunkard? No, I don't think so. That's why most of the people I know, even the Risa yesterday I spoke, right? She was a very enjoyed to drink. 
But after and after she has the influences of the Christian, automatically she becomes hated. And she's now saying that I don't know why I used to drink. And she said that I never liked to drink. So everybody drinks in her family, but she stopped drinking already. Even her or the relatives are drinking, she stopped drinking. Why? Because is she afraid of this? No. Because she started to have the heart of the Jesus. Okay. And read the second one. And do not be drunk with wine, which is his mission, but be filled with the Spirit. Yeah, that's right. Instead of the alcohol, God is ordering to fill. With the spirit of Jesus. Do you understand? So, drunken people like this, do you think this is a Christian? You see, where is his head? You must look for it, right? Long time? Yes. And like this, nice hair, isn't it? Or like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. Do you, can you see them? Any Christ in them? Why? Christ, he was wearing just one coat. He was always walking, curing people. The Pharisees and Sadducees, they look Jesus down the region because of his appearance. Are you sure that we are not like Pharisees? Can you read it? Who has who? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has complaints? Who has wants without cause? Who has redness of eyes? Those who linger long at the wine. Those who go in search of mixed wine. That's right. <clears throat> Sometimes you have a wound and bruise after you drunk. It meaning to say who has a wound without choose, meaning that he didn't know or she didn't know that or why, where I got this and Then there are the people who drink mixed wine. I don't know why some people drink and always cry. Better they don't drink. When they drink and drunk, then they cannot control. Somebody is get angry. Somebody in sorrow. Somebody has a contention, and somebody always murmuring complaints. Yes. So we're not using drugs or abuse the drugs or the alcohol and destroy our mind and defeat. Most dangerous with that is you lose your self-control. When you drink, you cannot control yourself. That's why they prohibit you drink and drive. So when we try to know spiritual things, we must really stop and drink. Okay. And the things that you read it. Whether of the seed of the lad or of the fruit of the tree is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. Yes. We give the tithe. We have an income. Then from the income, not after you spend the main 10% you are giving. You have an income that that 10% you have like 1,000 income. Then how much you should give to the Lord? 100 pesos is belongs to the Lord. So you should give. My children, it's not being proud, but my wife and my grandmother, my, no, their grandmother, not my grandmother, taught them. Even you have a gift from others, 10% you try to make the price and give it to the Lord. That is a true price. So even they have some something received from someone asking the price and check the price and 10% of it from their pocket money, they give to the Lord. This is a practice. If you don't do this practice, you're still in of the things of the Lord. Okay, can you read it? Finally, all of you be one mind, having compassion for one another, 
Love us, brothers. Be tender-hearted. Be courteous. Yeah, that's right. As the Jesus understand us and being patient, we should have a tender heart. Okay, can you read it? For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil. Yes, that's right. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil. If you like to really come into the heaven, then you must watch your language. What does it mean? You know, right? We don't using the words like a bad word. Sometime when I was young, I was thinking if I speak harshly, then I will win and I'm stronger than my friend. No. It actually damaged my spirit, damaged the spirit of others. So if you want, and if you love life and see good days, meaning to say, if you like to see the heaven, let him refrain his tongue from evil. The most common bad words in the world, oh my God. When you speak, oh my God, it breaks the commandment, third commandment, thou shall not use my name in vain. And in same time, I complain to the Lord to what just happened now. So it breaks the commandment. In same time, let us leave from our faith. Why? Because the complaint at the end of the complaint is what? I speak last Friday, isn't it? Night. Losing faith. Losing faith. You remember now? So when we start to having complaint, it always leads us to losing our faith. Yes, this is the last one. Can you read it? And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So what is the perfect will of God? When you do something, when you play in the night to the, with a friend, you just mind yourself, if Jesus, can I, I will go out or I will not go out. If Jesus, I will help him or I will not help him. If I am Jesus, then I will go to church or not go to church. If I am Jesus, then I will get that or I will not get that. That is a mind, the perfect will. Again, your chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and you are his people, then we must know what is his willingness and come to him. Housewife, wife, they divorce a lot. You, why they divorce? Sure, the spouse are doing. Um, you know, other parades with other man or woman. That is also one of the reasons. But most of the vision is they said, ah, his character, my character is against. So we are not good each other, isn't it? Yes. Mostly that's the reason why they fight and they say goodbye each other. Yes, in the Philippines you say that we don't have a divorce. Well, you don't have a title of divorce, but actually there are lots of people who divorce. God and us. Do you want to change the God? Or do you think we need to be changed to stay with Him? We. How we are going to change ourselves? We cannot. But when we accept Jesus Christ, He will lead us. So, it's a perfect will of the God. So that we can stay into heaven together with Jesus Christ. I hope we will become true Christian. Who is a true Christian? Who has spirit of Jesus Christ? Not the people who was not the church. You and I, I hope, really become as a Jesus 